G'day, Andy here. Okay, so let's set up your adjustment uh, horse group and get the business going. So, once you've read this page, you can join up by clicking here, or from the home page, you can try for free, or indeed you can just go to join. You select the uh, horses that you have, the plan that you want, and join up. If you go annual, you get 12 months for the price of 11. Otherwise, just go monthly. That's, you know, either way works. Once you join up, it will ask you for some details like your name and email. This is just so that you can set up the horse group. And then, uh, yeah, you go and pay. So once you've paid and got your um, uh, membership started, or if you've gone free, that's fine. You get a couple of horses for free. You can try it out. You log in. From here, I need to add a horse group. So... In this case, I call my horse groups farms. You might call them stables. You might call them studs, uh, ranches, mobs, whatever you call them. And you simply add a farm. So I'm going to call it a justice. Okay. Uh, prefix, motto. I'm going to choose a logo. Now, I just got AI to create this logo for me. And I'd put in my, um, my uh, website and my email so i'm just going to use my horse records email but you would use your business email and i'll put in my phone number and you know i'd put in my address okay so here we are i've got my group of justees so let's set it up so that it's considered an adjustee group so to do that you go to edit so in the top right here edit you fill all this out, and which is already filled out, and then you just said, is adjustment. Yes, it is. Check this if you're using this horse group for adjustment. This will enable the configure adjustment button. Okay, so that's all I do. I just click that button. And then I scroll down, and just below the screen, there's an update button, which I've just clicked. Right, so it's adjustment. So what do I do now? Okay, well, I go back to home, and there's several options. I can click on adjust ease. And uh, no, that's not the option. If I go to, if I click on Adjustees again and go back to the page I was at, or indeed I can just go here to Adjustees here, and I want this button here, Configure Adjustment. Let's give it a go. Right, so there's all this text here that you can read, and it's more for when you finish reading these videos. It gives you the information you need that you can read. But for now, let's just... Um, follow the video. So what I'm going to do today in this video is just let's get the general information sorted. So I click configure. So the adjustment operation name, I've called it Golden Pastures Adjustment. Um, so the contact name for the adjustees. Now what that is is who do the adjustees contact? Now normally it's you if it's a small operation or it could be the adjustment manager um, or there could be some special person who's really good on the phone. So in my case, it's, it's me, it's Andy, and I'm going to give them a phone number that they can call. If your manager's named, I don't know, Sandra, you'd write Sandra and then the, the number they need to call. And here's a note. Okay, so you don't want them calling you 24-7, <laughs> so you can put notes about the contact. So let's just put one in um, a 9 to 5 only. Okay, now the Adjusty request days, so that's usually between 7 and 10. I like 10 just to give us a little bit extra. But what that is, is each week we send an email to the customer, to the, your customers, your Adjustees, and um, say, fill out the next week. And this is the number of days we get them to fill out. So 7, 10, 8, whatever. I like a little bit of overlap. So I'm going to leave it at 10. There we go. And the just a reminder is usually from me, but what you can do is if you've got multiple people in your adjustment group, like your just a manager, adjustment manager, you would put their name and that's who the email comes from. And then I'm going to send it out on a Sunday. Okay. And if I just, uh, so then if we go save config, which is down the bottom on the right, you can see all my details filled out. So now I'm ready to go. On to the next video.